Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever heard that intense workouts can actually make you more likely to catch a cold? This is a common concern and a study of firefighters seemed to confirm this fear. This study claimed that intense physical activity like that experienced by firefighters can suppress the immune system and increase the risk of respiratory infections. The study involved collecting blood, urine and saliva samples from firefighters before and after the strenuous 45 minutes hike while wearing full gear. Researchers then analyzed these samples for various markers of immune function. Many people believe that exercise, especially when it's rigorous, weakens your defenses, making you more vulnerable to illness. However, before accepting this idea, it's crucial to critically examine the study's methodology and consider alternative explanations for the findings. Is vigorous exercise really the culprit, or could other factors be at play here? Let's take a closer look at why this study might not be telling the whole story. First and foremost, the study completely overlooked the firefighters' fitness levels. This is a major red flag because someone who's incredibly fit will naturally have different responses to exercise compared to someone who's less fit. Their bodies handle stress differently, and their immune system could react in totally different ways. By ignoring fitness levels, the study missed a crucial piece of the puzzle. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Next, and possibly even more important, is the issue of dehydration. This is a big one, and the study failed to even address it. Think about it. These firefighters were hiking uphill in full gear in warm temperatures for almost an hour. They were sweating buckets and losing a significant amount of weight in a short time frame. They lost about 1.8 kilos in 45 minutes. The temperature was 20 degrees centigrade and the humidity was pretty high at 78%. So what's the most likely reason for such quick weight loss? Water loss, plain and simple. Dehydration itself can weaken the immune system. So, how can we be sure that the immune changes they observed were due to exercise and not just because the firefighters were seriously dehydrated? It's impossible to know without proper dehydration testing, which the study didn't do. And finally, the study depended on the firefighters self-reporting their respiratory symptoms. This means they simply asked the firefighters if they felt sick. Now, while some people are very in tune with their bodies, self-reporting can be unreliable. You might think you have a cold, but it could just be allergies or irritation from smoke or, or maybe the dust they were exposed to while climbing up the mountain. Without actual medical tests to confirm infections, the results become much less convincing. By ignoring fitness level, failing to test for dehydration, and relying on self-reported symptoms, this study left out a lot of room for doubt. We can't confidently link vigorous exercise to immune suppression and respiratory infections based on this evidence alone. There's just too much missing from this picture. Okay, so we've seen the holes in that firefighter study. Now let's talk about why the whole idea of vigorous exercise causing immune suppression and infections just doesn't hold up. Over the years, scientists came up with this hypothesis, okay? It's called the open window hypothesis. This idea suggests that the immune system becomes weaker for a few hours after intense exercise making you more likely to catch infections in the days that follow. Even today, people still talk about this theory, even though there's evidence to challenge it. Contrary to earlier beliefs that vigorous exercise could weaken the immune system, research does show it doesn't necessarily suppress immunity. Instead, it temporarily adjusts and regulates the immune system in ways that are beneficial over time. The changes scientists see in immune cells after exercise are likely a sign that the immune system is becoming more vigilant, not shutting down. It's like your immune system are being sent out on patrol, ready to detect and fight off any potential threats. This makes sense when you consider what happens during exercise. Your heart rate and breathing increase, your muscles work harder, and your body temperature rises. All of this creates a more challenging environment for pathogen, making it harder for them to take hold. These adjustments help the immune system recover and adapt, leading to a long-term improvement. Regular intense physical activity has also been shown to boost immune function by reducing inflammation and activating key immune cells like natural killer cells and T cells. There is some evidence that extreme exercise, like running a marathon, might temporarily suppress the immune system. 
However, this depends on factors like recovery time, nutrition, and stress. If someone doesn't allow enough time to rest or eat properly after such activities, their risk of getting sick may increase. But with proper recovery and care, the immune system bounces back stronger. Overall, vigorous exercise doesn't harm the immune system when balanced with enough rest and recovery. Instead, it enhances the immune system's ability to respond, manage inflammation, and maintain cellular health, reframing it as a source of benefit instead of that of harm when done thoughtfully. There is one thing that can suppress the immune system, and that's dehydration. And when you're exercising vigorously, you lose a lot of fluids through sweat. So, if you're not staying properly hydrated, it's easy to become dehydrated, and this weakens your immune system. That's why it's so important to drink plenty of water before, during, and after exercise, especially when it's hot out and you're sweating a lot. Just think for a second. Think about all the people out there who exercise vigorously and intensely on a regular basis. Athletes, fitness enthusiasts, even people with physically demanded jobs. If vigorous exercise really caused immune suppression and infections, wouldn't we see more of these people get sick? Or we don't. In fact, many athletes and active individuals report getting sick less often than their less active counterparts. This real-world evidence supports the idea that it's not the exercise itself that's the problem, but instead it's other factors like dehydration, lack of sleep, nutritional status, psychological stress, and even inadequate recovery. So the takeaway message here is that vigorous exercise is unlikely to, to suppress the immune system and make you more susceptible to infections as long as you listen to your body stay hydrated, and allow for adequate rest and recovery. That's a must. So what's the final word on vigorous exercise and immunity? The evidence tells a clear story. When approached with balance and care, exercise isn't the enemy to your immune system. It's an ally. The firefighter study may have raised some interesting questions, but its flaws remind us to critically evaluate the science before jumping to conclusions. Fitness levels, hydration, Proper recovery and overall health plays a much bigger role in immune function than exercise alone. In fact, regular intense activity can enhance your immune defenses, making you more resilient to illness over time. The key is balance. Stay hydrated, rest when needed, and fuel your body with the right nutrients and supplements. So next time you lace up your running shoes or hit the gym, know that you're not just working on your fitness, you're giving your immune system a powerful boost. Keep moving, stay hydrated, and trust that your body is designed to adapt and thrive. Be resilient. Thank you for watching, and as always, take care of yourselves. Stay healthy, everyone. Remember, listen to your body, stay hydrated, and keep moving. And try not to believe the rumors. Have a wonderful day, and see you soon in my next video.